Welcome to this Fruit Heights City Council meeting. Um, my name is John Pullman, Mayor of the City of Fruit Heights. We are beginning this meeting at 7.02 p.m. with an anchor location at 910 South Mountain Road, Fruit Heights City, Utah, 84037. We're going to begin this meeting with a Pledge of Allegiance. It's gonna be led by Darren, and I will do the opening ceremony. Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our Father in heaven, we bow our heads to give you thanks for this day. We're so very grateful for the blessing it is to be here in this wonderful city and to be surrounded by so many good friends and, and, and neighbors. Father, as we go through this meeting, we ask you for thy support and thy help that we'll be able to make the decisions that are in the best interest of, of all the community members and everyone who lives here. Please help us to, to be wise with, with our actions and with what we say. And we say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Uh, item number 1.2, roll call. All right. Council member Diane Anderson. Here. Council member Gary Anderson. Here. Council member Eileen Moss. Here. Council Member George Ray. Here. Council Member Florence Adler. Here. Mayor John Pohl. Here. Thank you. Um, for those who don't know, um, Jacob Smith is our new city manager. Um, he has replaced uh, Brandon Green, who has retired. Going on to item number 1.3, every uh, city council meeting, we set aside three minutes of our agenda uh, so that one of the city council members can train or give a training on our responsibilities as an elected official. Uh, tonight's training is going to be Diane Anderson. You have three minutes. Thank you. Um, after the last two elections, our city officials participated in a survey called Strengths Finder. And evaluations in various domains revealed that each of our elected officials had strong assets in what's called strategic thinking. The Clifton strengths define these assets and thus, quote, when faced with a problem, strategic talents are able to quickly find alternative ways to proceed with creativity, innovation, and innovation, determining the most efficient and best way to move forward. Um, unless you think I'm tooting our, our own horn, I'm not. I'm just going to point out that um, receiving, looking at the summaries of our mayor and our city council members, it was impressive to me that our residents were able to discern these assets and then vote for individuals who brought these talents to the government table. So I think we give the credit to the voters. These are some of the, uh, the assets that this particular survey talks about. Uh, just strategic thinking. They, these are people who are inspired by the future and what could be. They inspire others with their visions. Um, they're strong in the analytic, an analytical uh, ability. They have the ability to think about all the facts that might affect the situation. Um, they are learners, uh, interested in the process of learning rather than the outcome so much. Context, they understand the present by researching its history. Um, they, they like to collect and archive all kinds of information. So assuredly at this time in our city's history, we can lean on the strategic talents, as well as a, attend to the current needs, looking to the future as well as attend to the current needs of our residents. We thank the voters for their wisdom and confidence. Thanks, Diane. Appreciate that. Diane. Um, we're going to move forward with item number two. Do we have any conflict of interest to discuss at this time? Seeing or hearing any, we're going to move over to item number four. We don't have a special presentation tonight, uh, which is a public comment period. This is a time where residents can state anything they'd like in the microphone. Um, action won't be taken, but it is always nice to hear what our residents have to say. Would you like to say something, Stinker? Would you state your name in the microphone? Yeah. My name is Cynthia Dankers, and we live on Quail Ridge Road. And um, our concern is that there have been those beautiful light poles that Fruit Heights City puts up at uh, the exit 
<clears throat> excuse me, of 400 North, uh, the exit from the freeway, and also when you cross the bridge at 400 North. But there are no lights at 650 North, and it's very, very dark. It's hard to see the corner um, at night, especially in the winter time when you can't tell where the snow stops and where it begins. So we were just wondering if there are plans to put some light posts there. I noticed that there are three at the other intersections and we're hoping there's some there. The only light post on 650 North is at Chris Christensen's house on a telephone pole. And it's not the pretty ones that Fruit Heights puts up. And so we're just wondering and hoping that the city has plans to do that. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, you may. Yes. Thank you, Darren. We don't normally comment on your question, but let's let's take care of it, right? Thanks, Cynthia. I, love Darren. <laughs> I do too. Um, any any other comments? Not seeing or hearing any, we're going to move on to item number five point one, which is review, discuss, approve, deny, resolution twenty. 23-06, uh, which is adopting the fiscal year 2023-2024 budget and certified tax rate. Jacob, you want to lead us out? Yeah, so there's not much more to discuss here than what we discussed last time. Um, the, the main difference is we did get our property tax revenue amount and the associated rate. And you'll see the, the rate is written there into the resolution. Um, so obviously it went down a little bit, property values went up, the rate went down because we're collecting the same amount. And as a result, I did update the uh, the revenue numbers in the final budget, the exact number. That's what we're required to do by law. And the offsetting expense for that, because it's a little bit less than what was put into the final budget is in that transfer that we had that, that wasn't programmed for anything into the capital improvement. So that, that was the only differences between what was presented last time and today. Great. Do we have any further questions? If not, I would look for a motion to approve resolution 2023-06. A move to approve resolution 2023-06, adopt the fiscal year budget 2023-2024. Thank you, George. Certified tax rate. Do I have a second? I have a second from Eileen. Any further discussion, any further questions on this? I think it's been pretty widely talked about. I would just, if I could, Mayor, comment yep. quickly. Um, I really like that our new city manager has chosen to um, allocate uh, our employees um, based upon the percentages they're working in the different areas. Um, I know it's kind of messed up the being able to understand the budget. There'll be areas of the public looking at it and perhaps wondering why there's such discrepancy in different areas. But by allocating that, then, you know, for instance, this year where we had so much uh, snow removal that needed to be done, a lot more could be allocated towards roads in the future and things like that. So um, I, I hope that the public will be able to understand uh, the budget as, as it stands. But um, hopefully, with that little comment as part of it, uh, maybe. That'll help. Thank, Thank you. you. With this being a resolution, this would be adopted uh, roll call vote, correct? Yes. Would you like to lead that out for us? Yep. We have a motion from George and a second from Eileen. Okay, so Flores Adler. Hi. George Ray. Hi. Gary Anderson. Hi. Eileen Moss. Hi. Diane Anderson. Hi. Excellent. Thank you. Item number 5.2 is review, discuss, approve, deny phase 2A final plat for Rockloft Ridge Estates. Um, so what has been going on? Um, I personally have not allowed this on the agenda until uh, because I felt like we needed further understanding and further um, uh, commitment from East, the road going across. Um, in so doing, from our meeting last Thursday, 
uh, we have a resolution. We are moving forward towards that. Um, that that land will be transferred over. I don't feel like it, anything's going to hang that up. Um, so my concerns with approving that have been satisfied. Um, I I know that there's a lot that still needs to be done with the Rockwell Bridge Estate. Um, so when we approve the final plat, doesn't mean you can go and sell them. Um, there are items in our development agreement that still need to be finalized before. Um, before lots could be sold, um, which were my concerns. So, Mayor, with that, I would make a motion that we approve uh, phase 2A of the um, Brockloft Ridge Estates um, plat, subject to the development agreement um, being completed. Uh, as as is required before any lots are sold. Okay. But this allows them to move forward with their project. So what this looks like, um, it's been brought to my attention that, that he's about three months out from us approving it to getting a mylar, getting it approved, getting it recorded. Um, so we are allowing him to get it mylar, get it bonded, get everything done so that when he's finished with his work, um, he doesn't have to wait another three months to actually start selling it. Also, okay. So, can we, can we get a copy of the map? I'm not sure. It looks like it hasn't changed at all from what it was. Um, but so, Gary, this is the same one that we uh, brought back to the council a couple months ago. Um, about two and a half months ago, we brought 2A and 2B. Um, okay. We tabled both of those at that time. We were working with the pastry crossing. We want to make sure that portion is going to happen sure. before we approve these. Do we, do we have a copy of this? Yes, right. um, Gary, if you'll, if you'll look on the, rock, rock, uh, the plat uh, there, uh, it ha there's three different maps. The first map. Let's see, what do you have? Let me see it. It's, 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 it, it is Exhibit A, fiscal year, no, 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 no. Uh, 2023.2-9, phase two, flat PDF. Oh, it's not. It's not labeled in, it's in our, it's not in our, yeah. Yeah. it is, yeah. it is. Oh, and that shows you the areas that they're planning. The first page is kind of an overview. Yeah, I can pull it up for me. There's two, there's one in tonight's packet and then there's one there. Okay, so I have a motion from Eileen, a second from Diane. Any further questions, any further discussions? Not seeing or hearing any. I'm all in favor of approving um, phase 2A of the final plot for the Rock Lot uh, Ridge Estates. All in favor say aye. Subject to, Subject to completing the development agreement as been outlined in, uh, in our development agreement. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Thank you. Um, item number 6.1 is review to, um, and approve the city council minutes of June 6th. Do I have a motion to approve them? I have a few changes that I noticed that should be made. Okay, did you make them? I tried to get as full as I can. Haley, Haley uploaded it as a PDF, and so we can't make them anymore. And apparently, we're not supposed to. Mm -hmm. So we need to go line by line and then um, then approve it as corrected. Um, can we just email them to her and approve them next meeting? You could do that. You can't approve them tonight unless you get them. I would look for a motion to table June 6th. It should take that long. But she's not here. So we can make notes. She can make notes and give us. Oh, okay. 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 Are you okay with that? Yeah, and as long as you trust me to review that and make sure those changes are all going to be. Yeah. Then I sign off. You better be able to trust me. <laughs> 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 
What are your uh, what are your changes? Modifications? Um, some of them are, are pretty small, but okay. On page one, under um, okay, I, on page I'll, if you could if while you're looking on page one, we should also list the new city council members as as visitors that were here with us. So Al Williams and Grayson. Davis should be listed under visitors as well. Ella Williams and Grayson Davis were our youth city council representatives, but they were also, they should be listed under visitors. Sorry, Flo, go ahead. No, Did I give you a second? I, I have to find, yeah. If, has anybody else got some? I can't find my first one. I didn't. Uh, so her name after FY24 adoption on 11th, point seven and then people ready. This is council Smith explained going through the down in the middle of that paragraph. Says the manager Jake Smith proceeded to go to different areas. Some of the uh, apostrophe doesn't be. What which word is that? Areas. Areas. A R E A apostrophe S is what it is. The apostrophe shouldn't be there. Okay. Well, there's twice, twice in there. Areas. Areas. Right. Okay. Yeah. But there's three of them there. Areas. The first one doesn't need it. The second one doesn't need it. No, third one doesn't need it. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't even need to ask on the last one. Um, down in the next paragraph, it starts council member Jerry Anderson. I'll just keep going. Below yeah, of course. Um, down at the bottom where it says, the last sentence says, and now the employees are being paid for the general fund. It doesn't need to cost me. That was one of mine. Okay. And generally speaking, the point of that question was where did the money, the extra money, come from? Not where was it hidden in the spreadsheet? Do you see the difference? Yeah. What I'm saying? Right. And then Darren Branson has gone around and asked cities. The last sentence is missing something. Public Works Superintendent Darren Branson wrote an internal APU on the occupancy at the day that that looks. That was one of mine today. That looks like it needs something, yeah. It needs something, yeah. I think you just take off um, that looks, period. Yeah. Just stop it after affidavit. So that's, all that needs to be said. that's on page four, the second paragraph down. Okay. Need a comma. Uh, uh, Apostrophe after ADU, apostrophe S in the next paragraph down. And the code, our city code, council member George, absolutely had the affidavit of the wording supported under, I'm just going to have something there. Under city code, what I have that code you. We haven't completed that. So maybe actually completed it just. Page four is the third, fourth paragraph down under building unit fee schedule. City Council Member George Ray asked that we add to the affidavit the wording. This affidavit is supported under city code and whatever it is that that code is. I'm on page one, third line up. It says, if we do not report back these things, then there are fines. I think that's supposed to be a then. Then there are the fines friends. that accrue. And then um, on page, page three, 
under the under the paragraph that says council member George Ray asked about the vehicles and one year's time there should be an apostrophe there probably after, you know so it's one year um, and then after a grant on on the third to the last line on page three it says city manager answered that right now it is from the water fund which is where all the grants we get from them are but that it is a it's difficult sense yeah it doesn't quite make sense where we get them or what the grants where do we get them? anyway I mean, that could be looked at and then my last one is on page five so city manager Jacob Smith answered that right now it is all from the water fund, which is where we have received all of our grants thus far. Also on that um, page three, third line up, well, actually the second line up, depending on grants we get. Hopefully that's grants we get. So add an S there. Mm -hmm. Second line up from the bottom. And then on page five, um, where it's, at the very beginning of page five, council member Florence Sadler reported that they had, oh, no, 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 sorry. Uh, Founders Day, council member Florence Sadler, it's middle of the page. Um, Florence Sadler, Saturday, August 26. Let's just add a, reported that Founders Day will be held. Yeah. Saturday, August 26. Does that make sense? Yep. work. How long did that take us? <laughs> Four and a half minutes. We're not done. Was it worth oh. it? Oh, someone more. Seven minutes. Under the Starry Center Committee, I should be restarting the cemetery committee. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Restarting. So it's very easy. It's just that the third sentence says, uh, Council Member Ronnie Moss and Council Member Diane Anderson are a part of the committee. Yeah, all part. I should say are. And yeah, um, I think what I, it should also say. Not that I talk to residents that would like to pre purchase lots, but we have residents that are willing to donate because the donation is not quite the same as pre purchasing lots. I don't want to say that we learned that we're selling the lots. Right. right. I'm going to get all signed people. Case in point. Donate? Then we said donate lots. Donate. donate. Not yeah, not pre purchase lots, but donate. That would like to donate to the cemetery. Because what we had suggested was that if someone would make a donation of $20,000 to our cemetery, once we get things online, we would be probably willing to let them purchase two lots for a dollar at that point. But you can't sell the lots before you have the cemetery. We have to have the donations to get the cemetery before we can sell any lots. Many people have died at the cemetery. Oh, wait. That's Thank you. Is that all? Great. All in favor of any, any motion to approve Minister June 6th? There, there was a motion. I didn't say that. I'll second that with those corrections.
Who was the first? Eileen and I'm sorry. Whatever you want. All favor approving the minutes of June 6th, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Motion carried. Item number 7.1 and 7.2, George Ray. We're good. Um, we're what? starting to work on the more closely to check out the integrated processes so that we're not having them produce the reports for us to look at and so they share what we can do receipts and just do a second glance or bring in that question if there are any. Uh, the document you see inside um, the city council folder today is a report that we get monthly from the CPA firm. So that's not an extra work to take either. It just drops in there. That's nice to have. That's great. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Thank you for working with Jake when putting it all together. Appreciate that. I love Efficiency and not making people do more work. Thank you. Um, anything more to discuss? Great. Item number eight is follow up items from the previous meeting. We have a few. Um, first and foremost, we met last Thursday and had a, uh, a good discussion with Hates Creek. I think we'll come to a resolution very quickly. I felt like that was very good. Thank you for participating. I know a handful of you had other commitments, but I really do appreciate your willingness to be here. That was, that was really good. Um, second one is the 4th of July. Diane, do you want to talk about the Unsung Hero and the parade? Do you have any information on that? Sure. Um, we have come up with an Unsung Hero. Um, I will contact this person and see if they will accept the honor. And then uh, the mayor will present the file at the 4th of July devotional. Is that devotional July 2nd? July 6th, I believe. July, no, 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 no. That is July 2nd. Um, and I am still in the process of applying. To participate in the parade. Great. I will. I will uh, see if I can get a plaque rush through gold. Oh, gold star. Yeah. Gold star. And then we do have um, metal <coughs> signs that are going to put on cars. No. And Haley ordered a bunch of candy. Thank you. And then we consider there are specific rules. You can't throw them on the clothes. You have to throw them curbside. You have to be very sensitive to the <coughs> tragedy of last year. And so we want to be careful. Um, some of the regulations are, some of the rules are no one under 18 can walk without being an open plan of vote. Um, and so this would be the recycle and something like that. So that is true. Are they going to keep people from going on and off uh, floats, hopefully? Or is that part of what's in there? Do you know? I didn't see it as I stand in it. Okay. But throwing me. Yeah. And so I don't think they will need to forward that to us. Can you throw from a bicycle? Probably not. Anyway, I will forward that to us um, as council so that we're aware of you can do that so that you don't know. That'd be great. Do we have a truck that would be used to the Um yes, and then we'll see if we can get a, a convertible for the unsung hero. So the the city council, the UC Council will use the truck and whatever carry whatever we have there. Um, and then we'll we'll find a convertible for the unsung hero to ride in and a driver. Sure. Thank you. Um, another follow-up item is the sheriff contract. Um, I reached back out to uh, Sheriff Sparks and requested um, everything we discussed last time. I will have some numbers for you at our next meeting, hopefully, on what we could move forward with. Um, I just requested hours, but I will follow that back up with 
we will clearly see what our expectations are of you know the hours of patrolling, the number of hours per day that will be patrolling, and patrolling does not constitute sitting in parking lots and obscure locations throughout the city. Um, that we would like to ask them to patrol for a certain amount of hours and then drive through to actually be driving. And then um, put aside a few hours a day if there's calls and then reports and stuff like that. So I have done that. Um, and then Founders Day, August 26th. Well, do you have any further information on that? Not today. Okay. Those are the follow up items. Item number nine. Excuse me, can I just say one thing I found? Yes. Um, on Founders Day, if uh, members who are running for city council, we have a booth there to uh, put out to speak with residents. I think it's going to be a, no. I think it's I think it's going to be up to the individual candidate to to make their space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Item number nine is the city council staff reports. Diane, do you have anything further to report? I did. But do you have anything further? Um, it's just gone. Give me a minute. Okay. Eileen. No. Gary. Jorge. No. Flo. No. Darren, you want to give us a few updates? So, uh, number of updates, if everybody saw that, um, we're finishing up with the uh, raising the animals in the house. We'll be finishing that by the end of this week, getting them all straight. That's what should be done. Uh, we're finishing up our water project on Chase Main and Waterfall right now. They're installed meters and collateral store homes. Expect that process to be done within the next two weeks, too. And then just a heads up on UDOT coming to the end of their projects. Uh, we've gone through and did a uh, walkthrough through pretty much all of their dikes. So, much of this that they're in the process of doing. Um, along with that, um, we have a bird on June 30th, and at 10 a.m. they're doing a bike walk ride run, taking uh, from Hamble Drive to uh, the park and ride at Hamble Drive to the park and ride right by Evans Canyon. Um, uh, some like officials talking, we got talking about the projects. What would it be cool to have? Are you people come to the city council to kind of give a follow up so that we have something to put out to the residents? They give us their opinion about the project. Two thumbs up. Three and a half stars. Pretty cool. And then we did have an opportunity to thank them and whatever official stuff we need to do. I can just I can reach out to Mike and have him come to us. Great, because we had them here at the beginning doing all their PR stuff. We spent a lot of money promoting and discussing this this project. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Um, Thank you. Thank you for moving Mount Road up to the bike park. Would you like to explain that a little bit further? Oh, so I just took some wheelings as they ground Mount Road and took them up to the Bike park up there on the hillside and pull in the parking lot to hold the dust down. So, so with that issue that a few residents have up there. So. so we have a really cool like assistant city manager that saw the milling mountain road, said, Hey, this is like a year old. They took a bunch of that, put it up on the parking lot, so we have a quasi asphalt. Parking lot. Do they take them on an oil lamp later, or is it? Yeah, it's just ground up millions. It gets hot sometimes with lawns and stuff like that. Pull those down. Do we have the opportunity? Can you hear me? Yeah. Do we have an opportunity to send uh, or put a roller up there? Um, I just had a a resident that happened to have been in the pavement industry in the past and said if you if you rolled it. You would you would extend the life of what you've already done um, by years. So he yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, I somebody that's in the Yeah, I just he just mentioned that, so I thought I'd pass it on. But I don't have 
have one also, like you had a part of my you I got one to say All right. That's gracious, Matt. Thank you. Thanks, yeah. Um, can you strike us? Yeah. While you're at it. Good heavens. Easy. Um, Diane, do you remember? Yes, I did. Um, well, would you go ahead and talk about the journey for our next piece? Yes. Um, anything else? You did an awesome job, thank you. Uh, Jacob, do you have anything else? Uh, Nothing to report. When is our next meeting going to be? Um, it is not the fourth, it is the July 11th. And then on the 25th, or it's just one meeting in July? Actually, should we do it the 18th? And I, think, I think we ought to do it the 18th because some people might be out of town given that there's a and we're already scheduled for the 18th it's already noticed i'm on i'm out of town that day the 18th. Should, we, should we do it on the 18th because we have <laughs> so our next city council meeting will be on july 18th so george would you do the That is all from our agenda. I would motion to motion adjourn. To adjourn. Motion from um, I will be second from Diane. All in favor of adjourning say aye. 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 Thank you. I slipped it in so fast. I don't know. No, I slipped it in pretty much. <laughs>